It is Saturday the 4th of July. Our reading from James today warns about the dangers into which our tongues can lead us. Teachers, preachers, parents and godparents, we all need to use words wisely. James chapter 3 verses 1 to 12. Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue is also a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles and sea creatures are tamed and have been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. Several of us listening to this are or have been teachers and we're conscious of the huge responsibility what we say with our lips has. Help us, Lord God, to use our words carefully, always to build up and encourage, and never to destroy. Amen. At the end of the week, we pray for those who are reaching the end of the line, those who are in need. Eternal God, you have declared in Christ the completion of all your purpose of love. We pray today for people in need. We pray for those who are tempted and those in despair, those who are sick and those with disabilities or who have special needs. We pray for those who are enslaved by addictions, for the elderly and the dying, for those who mourn and all ministries of care and healing. And we bring to you in the quietness of our own hearts people whom we know who are in need today. We think of our family circles and we name before you those who are struggling with life at this time. We bring to you those in our church community and local community who are dealing with illness or infirmity which is not getting any easier. We remember those who have children who have great disabilities and with whom they work day by day to help and encourage and enable them to reach their potential. We pray for those who are dealing with people at the latter end of life staff who work in nursing homes and in the hospice. We pray, Lord, for your blessing to be upon all who minister to those in need and that you will, by your mercy, give them hope in Christ. Eternal God, we give thanks for the triumphs of the gospel that herald your salvation, the signs of renewal that declare the coming of your kingdom, the example of human lives that reveal your work of grace. We give you thanks for all those who have died in the faith of Christ, for the unceasing praise of the company of heaven, the promise to those who mourn that all tears shall be wiped away, the pledge of death destroyed and victory won for our foretaste of eternal life through baptism and Holy Communion 
our hope in the Spirit, the communion of saints. We pray together. May we live by faith, walk in hope and be renewed in love until the world reflects your glory and you are all in all. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Amen. And we pray for tomorrow's worship in church, that Lord, your blessing will be upon the people who gather, however they do, in person, in the car park, in their homes, or however, that they will know your presence as they offer you their praise. And may it all be done to the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.